People flee for their lives, screaming. Michelle? Huh? Oh, right. Ah! The Air Force is powerless against the monster. Ah! E! The monster rips the base off the clock tower and sends it hurtling through the crowd. And then Captain Awesome swoops in and rescues Miss Pretty Pretty romantically. Michelle, we're playing Humonga Gila Monster, not Captain Awesome. You don't get to make all the rules, Jason. Yeah, but giant monsters don't go with supermodels. <laughs> Grandma, are you okay? Not to worry, dear. I'm fine. Oh, I haven't seen this in ages. I'm glad it wasn't damaged. It's rather fragile. Hey, that's a cool old dartboard. Where'd it come from? It was one of your granddad's prized possessions, dear. There's a photo album with it, too, chronicling the event. If you fetch it, I'll tell you the whole exciting story. Back in his day, your granddad was a champion dartsman. Found it. Here you go. Now, let's see. Oh, here we are. See? There he is. Who are the guys in the funny hats? Why, those are the Queen's own guards. They guard her palace back in England. Years ago, your granddad competed with them in a tournament around the toadstool. Cool. Oh, what a contest! And it all came down to a final dart. Granddad needed one more bullseye, and goodness, that crowd was in a stir. <laughs> Shaking. Then, just as he was about to throw that dart, what, what happened? When? What happened next? The dartboard slipped from its nail. No! But your granddad gathered himself and he threw that dart anyway. No one had ever seen anything like it. The perfect throw. <laughs> And you saw all this, Grandmom? Of course I did, Poppet. I took the picture for the London Evening Times. Why, here's a picture of me taking a picture of him. Grandmom, you were so young. And so proud, my dear. From that day forward, they called your grandfather the King of Darts. Whoa, is this a winning dart? Can I play with it? Me Can too. Throw? Please, please Grandmom, please. Oh, uh, sorry, Poppet. Too dangerous for little nippers like yourselves. Perhaps when you're a bit older. Grandma. Now, put these things back where you found them, my darlings, and then hurry down. It's almost time for lunch.
Hey, Michelle, set that on the step there for a second. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna throw a bullseye, just like Granddad. But Grandmom told us not to play with it. Yeah, I know. But it wouldn't hurt to throw just one dart. I don't know. Oh, relax. I'll be careful. Just one throw. Run, 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 Jason! Just one throw. How many minutes? Oh no. Hey, Beans! What was that noise? You can't tell her what happened. Say it just fell. What? I'm not gonna lie for you. Please, don't make me get in trouble. I didn't make you. You're the one. Come on, Michelle, please. Oh, oh gracious. What's happened here? It fell. It just fell. I didn't throw a dart at it or anything. Right, Michelle? Uh, yeah, that's what happened. It fell by itself. Hmm. Well, if that's your word, I'll just have to believe you. You will? You will? Of course, dear. Because you two know when you tell a lie, it may have seemed like a good idea, but you end up feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. But you know that, right? Right, Grandma. Yep. All right, then. Put this back upstairs, then come down before your lunch gets cold. Okie doke. I can't believe you made me do that. Well, we had no choice. There's a big time emergency on the planet Telelai. That's okay. Where's the captain? He's uh preparing for the mission. Geeky. Sneaky. Sassy. Ooh, classy. Mmm, twice as classy. The giant moon of planet Telelai has flipped its orbit and is now plummeting at an astounding rate. And if we don't get there soon, the entire planet will be flattened like a flounder. Prepare to bring Jason aboard. How you doing? Mitchell, did we just get boarded by a humongous helo monster? What are you talking about? And I'm Fidgel. Now then, where was I? In the bathroom. Ah! Jason, there's an emergency on planet Telelai. The moon has slipped its orbit. And the situation could cause a chain reaction. A flood. A fire. A flood on fire. The cable could go out. Been there. How could a giant moon just slip from its orbit? It wouldn't occur naturally. The problem is emanating from the planet. Someone did something they shouldn't have. Approaching planet Telelai. <laughs> Prepare for landing. How many points do I need? Well, let's see. Fifty. One more bullseye. One more. Point of entry. Hmm, where is everybody? Are we on the right planet? What gives it? Yuck! All right, who threw this? It was me. Who? Yuck! Now just what? Hello, and welcome to the planet Telelai. 
Greetings, I am Captain Zigil, and this is my crew. I'd like to speak to the man in charge, the big guy, the top dog, numero uno. The king. Right, the king, uh, of course. Well, you're in luck, because I'm the king. I live in the royal palace tower. I was just out for a straw with my, uh, subject. Yep, it's me, I'm the king. Funny, you don't look like the king. I lost weight, and I shaved my mustache and had my nose shortened. And I'm wearing contact lenses, which is why I no longer wear glasses. Your Majesty, we must humbly inform you that your massive moon is heading straight toward your tiny planet, and we must do something before it's too late. No, it isn't. Please, remain calm. There is no need to worry. The danger is not imminent, and you've got plenty of time to figure this out. First, we'll take care of the floods and the fires, then we'll get your cable back. Basic, full package. Uh. Captain? Ah, uh, yes. Don't know how I missed that. Guess you're doomed. Come on, crew. Back to the ship. But, Captain, we have to help them. He'll be back. I've got the keys. You're all in great danger from this giant moon above. We were just warning your king. What? What matter of treason is this? He is not the king. I am the king. He's right. What? I thought you said that you were the king. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. You most certainly did. It wasn't me. It was you. It was uh, you. I'm gonna need the keys. Captain. This other fella says he's the king. Wait a second! Did you used to be a bit rounder, have a bright orange mustache, glasses, and a larger nose? Um, yes. Yes, I did. Your Majesty! He's not the king. I am the king. Your Majesty! Something's making the local royalty a little edgy. Huddle! All right, what's going on here? Three kings. I've heard this story somewhere. Captain, I don't think they're really... It involves a donkey. Listen, I think everyone on this planet is lying. But why? And how are we going to find the real king? Well, I think if we can find the royal palace... We'll find the king. But how do we get a straight answer from... I've got an idea. Which way to the palace of Telali? No. So, east. West. 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 Uh, guys, it, it was west, right? Guys, we're going west, aren't we? Hang on. I can't keep up. This must be the palace tower. Oh, no, that's not it. It's much bigger than that. Yes, and it's some um, blue. According to these calculations, this is the only tower on the planet. Well, yes, but we have ten more towers planned. And I'm the architect. That's true. You know, these telelayers are very intelligent and perceptive darts. That one told me I was the handsomest, most brilliant leader he'd ever seen. But, Captain, they don't tell the truth. Exactly. See, they... Wait. Sir... I've been monitoring my device, and whereas I thought the giant moon was falling at a constant rate, I now see that it is falling very erratically. So he doesn't think I'm handsome? Well, we found the palace, but we still have a problem. We still don't know which one of these darts is the king. I have an idea. Your attention, please. I am Captain Zigil. Your planet is in great danger, and we must speak with your king immediately. Which way to the real king? Right here, right over here, right this way. The real king, the king of the telegraph. Hmm, seemed to work better with that east-west thing. What was that? Look, the tower has stopped the moon. <laughs> That's why I built it. Have no fear. I used only the strongest materials, and the tower will... few corners, but I still... I invented belly buttons. You've got to figure out what's causing this. I know what's causing it. What? what? This giant moon right here. Captain, I think I've stumbled onto something. Well, you must be more careful. Well, according to the data on my device, something that these citizens are doing right now is causing their moon to drop. What, uh, what do you call that device? It's a franiballistic perambulatory situator with D-class gyros and homing capabilities. I'm just going to call it Carl. 
<clears throat> Good people of Telelai, according to Carl, you're doing something to cause this. Name something you do a lot of. Well, we arm wrestle a lot. But you don't have any arms. I didn't say we were good at it. Captain, I'm prepared to postulate a definitive correlation between the rate of their verbal utterances and their planet's approximate lunar distance. See, I'm not even sure some of those are words. You know, I think Fidgel's right. Every time they speak, the moon drops. When did he say that? Never mind, I'll handle this. Good people of Telelai, I respectfully ask that you all be silent. Well, there you have it. Citizens, we have discovered the problem. You'll be happy to know that from here on out, you will be safe and sound, as long as none of you speak again for the rest of your lives, ever. Goodbye, you're welcome, and please don't worry. I know you're cheering for me in your hearts. Problem solved. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm all tapped out. We're doomed! Think, everyone. Think! Wait! No. Sorry. Nothing. What are we gonna do? What, what can you do when you've got the weight of the world on your tower? Stop lying! What? Don't you see? You gotta stop lying! We're not lying! See? You gotta tell the truth! It's wrong to lie, and when you do, it feels like the weight of the world is on you. Captain, Jason is correct. Quick, Vigil, how long can the tower hold? Uh, I, I am afraid the tower can only hold for three more lies. I knew that. Make that two more lies. Sorry about that. Normally, I'm not one to tell a bit. <laughs> Captain, please! We only have one more lie! One more! One more! One more! One more! One more! One more! Look, all I'm trying to say is that... Please! Please! Nobody tell a lie! I am the king. <gasps> It's true, I am. I knew I wasn't supposed to, but I couldn't resist the beautiful, shiny red button. The sign said, do not touch under any circumstances, but I did it anyway. You pressed the button that released your moon from its orbit. Yes, I did. And then I asked everyone to lie for me so that I wouldn't get in trouble with the Federation. And then we just started lying all the time. We feel awful. I know how you feel. It seems telling the truth makes the moon rise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Everyone must tell the truth. Does anyone remember how to tell the truth? I'm not the king. This isn't my real hair. I sleep with a binky. Thank you, thank you. Your truth and your bravery have saved our tiny planet. Well, Your Majesty, it all came together when I... Never mind. We thank you for saving us. And to express our appreciation, we prepared your ship to launch you back to the Federation. Hey, it must feel great to come clean, huh? You bet it does. I love my daily bubble bath. Well, actually, I meant it must feel great to tell the truth, right? Beginning countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... Wait! Nope. Sorry. Nothing? Michelle, where are you going? 
downstairs. I feel terrible, and I'm not going to lie for you anymore, Jason. I'm going to tell Grandma the truth. I'm going to tell her what really happened. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because I am. Grandma? Yes, dear? What is it, dear? I broke your dartboard. It didn't fall by itself. It was me. I threw a dart at it and made it fall. I see. And then, when you came upstairs, I made Michelle lie for me. He didn't make me, Grandma. It was my choice. I could have told the truth up there. I just didn't. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Grandma. Very sorry. Well, now, do you know what I have to say to that? No, no ma'am. Ma I'm going to look you right in the eye and say, well done. What? What, what are you talking what do you about, mean? Grandma? It's not always easy to tell the truth, and maybe it took you some time. But in the end, you stood up and did the brave thing. You told the truth. Don't you feel better now? Oh, yes, yeah. much A better. A lot better. Because we told the truth. Right, Grandma? Bullseye, Jason. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.